Om Shanti, today is your 106th day of your meditative blessing, a topic on which we really need to meditate clearly. And it's one thing which actually stops us from progressing. And that is if we have any form of attraction or attachment to things and people and places and even to our physical body that doesn't allow us to move ahead in life. So let's understand this blessing. So in this blessing, Baba says that may you transform attraction into being free from attraction. So if you have, we have any attraction, we should convert it into being free from those kind of attractions so that we can make the right decision, we can discern properly what is right, what is wrong. And we should not have a form of a layer in front of our eyes where we can't see what is right, what is wrong, even if that person is our own relative. And we can't tell that soul or can't guide that soul. Or maybe if we have to join them in that kind of decision, we can't say no because we are so attached of what they will feel, even if they are doing wrong. So we should make the right decision, even if they are our relatives, even if something is not going to help me out physically, but it is important to do. So I don't be attached so much to my physical self that I'm like, oh, how can I do? I'm so weak physically. It's not my way of doing things. Or it's, oh, I can't afford to do it or my body won't be able to take it. So I have to be in kind of service even if I think I'm attached to my body and I can't do it. That means I have to remove the attraction to this physical body also so that I can make my mind powerful and not just be focused on my physical beauty or physical self or physical attainments or physical comfort only all the time. So Baba says that may you transform attraction into being free from attraction of all these kinds and become an embodiment of power. Only then you'll become powerful and make the right decisions. Let's go into details. In order to become an embodiment of power, now what is that? What power do we get? When we become free from attraction, we have the right wisdom, we can take the right decisions and all the obstacles in our life of why we are not able to move ahead because of people, relatives or our physical body or even things around us. Oh, I don't have this thing. So how will I be able to be successful? I don't have the right phone. I don't have the right method. I don't have the right program. I don't have the right clothes. I don't have the right shoes or many things which we give as as reasons for not able to move ahead in life so god says let you not be attracted to those things or be dependent on those things be independent or baba says that may you become free from any form of dependency so baba says in order to become an embodiment of power transform attraction into being free from attraction all these attractions we have to be free from them if there is an attraction to your body so if there's an attraction to my body then I'll obviously be more focused on my bodily attainments and my comfort level. I won't be able to doing won't be able to do the right things at the right time because I'll either get into laziness or I'll become too naive in terms of whether I have the capacity to of doing things, whether my body has the right capacity or the strength to do things, or I'm over caring for my body and I feel that I'm too uh, I'm I'm too uh, what do you say? In terms of uh, strength, I am too weak that I can't do certain activities in my life. And that makes me not move ahead in life. So laziness can come in, postponement can come in, and all those things make us powerless. That comes in terms of body. Your relations, we have spoken about it. In terms of relationships, it's my mother, it's my father, it's my aunt, it's my wife who's telling me. If I don't agree to her or them, then they might not feel good about what I am doing. And they might not love me back or I want something in return from them. So I might, I better adhere to what their decisions are and not oppose them with the right method of sweetness, calmness and tell them, see, this is not the right thing to do. Let's not do this. So that is where if I have got attraction to my relations, then I can't take the right decisions. I put a, uh, I put a veil in front of my eyes and I don't see what is right and what is wrong. Or any physical positions. If I've got any attraction to physical positions, then I might come into jealousy. I can come into any kind of attraction to it and I might even have quarrel about it. What is the right way of doing things? What is the wrong way of doing things? If it breaks, then I blame other people. I create a, I create a complete uh, negative environment in my own house because of certain small thing around me, because of positions and things. 
and because of attachments i blame people i put down people so many things they make us come out of wisdom and they make us lame in our thoughts so baba says maya can also come and you then maya can also come and you will then not be able to become an embodiment of power if there is any attraction to your body your relations or any physical possessions then maya can also come and you will then not be able to become an embodiment of power as we have discussed right now maya means attraction it can be anger greed ego jealousy can come or many other things can come in in terms of our body our relations or our physical possessions isn't it we have faced it all in our life so then baba says this is why you first have to become free from attraction and you will then be able to face the obstacles of maya so maya is not out maya comes from within our own weaknesses are maya we are not able to progress we can't take the right decision because of being at, in attachment or we prioritize a relationship so much that we don't choose the right decisions we take wrong, wrong decisions and our karmas become more and more bad every single time when we make a decision on the basis of attraction to things to our body to the relationships which we have so then bias is baba says that obstacles of maya will not come i'll be able to face the obstacles of maya even if somebody presents me the wrong decision which is not true which is not the right method or the right path i will straight away say no because i am not in attraction to that person or to that thing or to my own physical body instead of screaming out or being afraid when obstacles come which people do oh why sh- what should i do oh my god that person i love that person how can i say no to what that person is saying that person won't feel good or how can i not uh, you know accept that thing i know it is it is going to be hurtful to for that person if i don't accept that gift but i don't want it because i'll get attracted to things and i want to be more focused on spirituality i don't want to gather things in my house and you know get gifts from people how can i say no they might feel bad and this is where we have to put a line or draw a line which we call it as lakshman rekha for the one which we don't want to cross and we don't want others to cross also so then baba says instead of screaming out or being afraid when obstacles come like this we scream out right what should i do how should i do how should i handle this relationship there is some form of attraction over there that's why we're not able to take the right decision at the right time right place so baba says first get free from those attractions to the body to the relations and to your physical position so that you can take the right decision so then baba says instead of screaming out or being afraid when obstacles come adopt the form of power which power the ones which we have learnt at prama kumaris we can be powerful and we can take the right decisions by discerning what is right what is wrong by having no attraction by being soul conscious i'm a soul i don't need anything i just i just need a couple of things but not i don't want things around in my life i don't need this this is an extra i don't need that i don't want that because that's an extra so i need to minimize my needs and have a minimalistic form of living a simplistic form of living which doesn't attract any maya in my life so the baba says adopt the form of power and you will become a destroyer of obstacles in your life you won't be entangled into so many relations so many issues with positions and even your physical body think about it i leave you with this beautiful vartan have a blessed day stay safe stay home om shanti